walk me through this like I'm a six year old. Like, like how what is what is the the sort of pipeline of cyber forward? Like, where like are you seeking out the people? Are they contacting you saying I want to do this? Uh, I, something about you you were working with like local schools and things like that and like and uh, it's like a mentor program or is it education i've you know like i i, I can't quite get it in my head here so sorry sort of give it to me give me the six-year-old's child you, you got it so in in cyber forward um it's a five-phase program okay in our over 18 program we we recently have added um uh, high school programming right. as well as uh, college programming as well okay um but in our in our uh core cyber forward program there's five phases phase one is all about identifying um talent um to move into the program we work with our network of partners um out there community partners and they can be nonprofits. They can be schools, they can be military organizations, they can be whatever. We work with them to help within their pools of people to identify, identify talent that can come into the program. We spend as much time during that phase working with our community partners to also tell them, hey, security is not just someone hacking all day and, and right. what it is, and then helping them to identify. From that, they come into a four-week class. Um, and... At that time, we also work with them on identifying any roadblocks they may have. And that's another difference in our program. Roadblocks are things like housing insecure, access to technology, access to the internet, um, transportation, access to healthcare. At this point, we've seen everything, um, you know, access to legal services so you can get a visa, whatever, whatever, whatever's out there. Yeah. <clears throat> we also wrap around these, these folks with a support system of mentors. Mm. as well as the community partners um, okay. that we work with that support them all the way through all the other phases I'm going to talk about. Okay. In the class, the initial class is focused on um, it's one day a week for four weeks and we're helping them to kind of connect the dots on just what is this security maze and mm -hmm. where do I sit yes. in it as well as we teach them how to do three specific job security roles at a junior level. Okay. Um, and so we get going, they are force ranked against each other and those that make it all the way through the program um, then move into phase three. Um, phase three is a internship at CISO share where okay. we are further working with them on how do you perform those junior level roles and even it's still mock work, but it's, much more real. Hmm. From there, we then work with hiring partners that are willing to give these folks three to six months uh, projects working on those junior level roles uh, that we engage them in, which is a, a third party analyst, um, a uh, policy analyst, and a vulnerability engineer. Um, and so at that point, that's what we really view as the gold, which is real world work experience that they can get on their, uh, uh, on their, on their resumes. <clears throat> they can then be, um, uh, uh, re-engaged, um, by that same hiring organization for another contract in phase five, they can be hired by the organization, um, as well. And they can stay in the cyber forward program up to a year. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's how the whole program works. We've had, I think, uh, about 195 people come through the program. Our, our metrics are pretty crazy. I mean, we usually get people through and get them, um, actually getting that real world work experience. About 50% of them actually get to where they get all the way through the program, get that real world work experience and then move, uh, and then move on. And we have really high diversity and inclusion metrics and all that. Um, I think because many of the, we, many of the pools that we're working with are often folks that are not getting opportunities right. um, to move in. And we kind of help partner with them early on, as well as with our community partners um, to get them through the programs. New episodes of the CyberWork podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, CyberWork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn. Stay up to date on all things CyberWork.